Allegro. First, let's learn the right hand. Starts in a C position. And then you have to move down here, third finger and B note. Repeat sign, go back. Don't forget F sharp. The second line starts with an E note. G, so you need to stretch for this one. Okay, let's try it again from the beginning of the second line. Then you need to place your third finger on the E note. Slow down and hold that last note because you have a uh, ritardando at the end right here. Then you need to get softer because it says diminuendo. And then you have a fermato right here. So let me play the second line one more time. So it starts with an E note. the C position. Okay. So you can see you have to play uh, your song within the G major scale pattern. G major scale requires an F sharp here. Um, also in this song we are going to uh, combine two uh, two ways of playing. First is staccato. To art we call it articulation, right? It's a staccato. So for the quarter notes in the beginning, you can look here. Quarter notes. We will do staccato because of those dots. Now, during the eighth notes pattern, right here and then right here, we're not going to do the uh, staccato we are going to do legato we're going to change it so again let's start from the beginning watch out here staccato means short legato and again staccato right okay so that would be the first line then repeat and then the third line the same pattern the second line is going to be completely different. In your music, you can see it says dolce, legato. Dolce means sweetly, sweetly. Legato means uh, smoothly, connected. So you have to play with a little bit more stretchy sound. So hold your notes longer. So that's your right hand. Now let's talk about your left hand. Uh, in this one, you're going to have three chords that you need to know. So that's the first one is a G chord. You play it like that. Okay. Well, you have to play it four times, but that's the, the chord in itself. Okay. Then the second chord, it's on the count one and two. It's a G, C, and E two times in this measure. So you, these are the notes. So you have G, C, and E. Then you'll go back to this one. And then measure three introduces the third chord here. We have F. Don't forget F sharp, where we have an F sharp in the key signature. So we have F sharp, C, and D. So it's a 5-7. So that's the chord. So F sharp, C and D. Okay, uh, and the whole song is based only on these three uh, chords in the left hand. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning. So we have G, repeat sign from the beginning. Switch, switch, five, 
seven, four, seven. Second line starts with a four. I'm going to start from the very beginning and play the whole song from the beginning to the end. One, two, three, four. practicing. 